Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. We are here because we want to improve our English. We want to improve our vocabulary. The way we do that is by learning few few new words every day. Today is our day number 32. Day 32. The very first word, the very first word that I want to learn, the very first word that we want to learn today is recapitulation. Or rather, recapitulate. Re. Go. Pitch. Show. Lead. It's a word. What does it mean to recapitulate? Well, it's an interesting word because. A lot of the time, people have trouble figuring out the meaning of the word recapitulate. Now I'm going to I'm going to do something to this word. Now all of a sudden, all of the people that uh, all of you who do not know the meaning of this word, I'm going to do something to this word, and all of a sudden, you re you realize what this word is. Out of laziness, instead of saying recapitulate, people have the habit of saying recap. Of course, you know what recap means. It means to summarize something. Why do people say recap instead of recapitulate? As I said, uh, they are being lazy, they abbreviate things. Therefore, recap is simply an abbreviation of the word, actual real word, recapitulate. Recap is not a real word, it's just an abbreviation. So what does it mean to recap or recapitulate? It means to summarize. Let's put down noun also so I can give the meaning in, in, in terms of noun instead of verb. The noun would be recapitulation. Re, co, pitch, co, lay, shun. Recapitulation, which means, which is simply a summary. A brief overview. It is a brief outline of a subject. And finally, two more words which are good synonym of recapitulation. And the words are Synopsis. Synopsis. Which is why, which is why I always tell you why I put down the pronunciation because we want to make sure that we minimize the number of occasions that we're going to make a fool of ourselves. Synopsis is the word. Synopsis. Which, mean, which simply means a summary, outline, overview, recapitulation. They all same. They all mean the same thing. Synopsis. And finally, an abstract. An abstract is a synopsis. Is an outline, is a summary, is a brief statement, a brief overview of something. It's a recapitulation. That's it. That's all there was. Let's move on and learn a new word. The new word that we want to learn, people sometimes in, uh, make a uh, make a mistake of thinking that. Listen very carefully. 
People sometimes make a mistake of thinking that if recapitulation means to summarize something, people sometimes think that recapit since recapitulation means to summarize something, then they think that capitulate must mean to do something for the very first time. It means no such thing. So we're going to learn the word capitulate so that we can keep it separate so that we do not confuse the word capitulate with the word recapitulate. Let's learn the new word then. We're going to erase this part now. We're done with this thing. One more time. Recapitulation simply means a summary, an overview, an outline, a synopsis, an abstract. Which has nothing to do at all with the new word that we're going to learn which is Capitulate. Let's, let's put this properly so that, so that uh, it looks better. In other words, in the word recapitulate, the first two letters, the first two letters were not prefix, as in redo or uh, I can't think of anything, redo, re anything, it just means again. Uh, this is not a prefix. Recapitulate the, the first two letters RE are part of the word, they are not prefix, and therefore the word capitulate is not related to word recapitulate. Recapitulate means to summarize. What is Capitulate me. It means to, it's a verb, capitulate. It means to surrender, to submit, to yield. Give in. It means to succumb. To resign or to relinquish. To relinquish has no G in it. So one more time, capitulate has no relationship at all with the word recapitulate. Capitulate means to surrender, to submit, to yield, to give in. Notice it's to give in, not to give up. It means to give in, to surrender, to succumb. Succumb also has one more meaning. Succumb also means to die. But here the word succumb is being used as in, if you succumb to something, that means you give in finally, you surrender. Uh, to resign, resign also has two meanings. The first meaning that is what what we use in our day that most people know. To resign as in to stop working. Well, the resign in the broader sense of the meaning it means, uh, it also means to give in. To give in to something. I resign. That means I give up. I'm not going to try anymore. I resign. I tried it five times and uh, nothing is going to happen. No, nothing happens. So I resign. That means I surrender. I, I, I give in. I capitulate. I yield, I submit, I relinquish. Do you understand? That's all. Let's learn one more word which is related to word which is related to word capitulate. I'm gonna put it right next to it in a different color so we can see it. And the word is well not exactly related, but the word is Seed, which simply means to officially or formally surrender position of something. So, capitulate does mean to surrender, but seed means to surrender something, a possession of something. Uh, 
uh, and usually it is used in the context of a, a nation ceding a territory to another nation, uh, especially when there's a, when they have a war and and the, and the, the victor uh, gets some part of the territory from the loser. The loser is ceding the territory. They officially and formally surrender possession of something. In this case, the territory. The word is seed. It's pronounced seed. C E D E seed. Let's learn two more words which are related to again they are all related. I'm gonna erase this part here because I need the room. The next word that I want to learn, and I hope that so do you, and the word is succeed. Seed to officially surrender the position of something. What does it mean to succeed or rather not succeed to succeed means to formally break off from a country to form a new one and that process is called secede the noun I believe is cessation let me look it up secede for example for those of you who it doesn't give me a noun, this is weird. For example, for those of you who've been uh, keeping up with the news, well it's not a it's not a latest news, but for longest time the part of a uh, part of Canada, the French speaking part namely Quebec. Oh, there we go, that's the noun. The noun would be secession. For the longest time, not everybody obviously in Quebec because otherwise it would have already done so, but uh, there are there is a large percentage of people in Quebec who want to secede. In other words, they want to formally break off from Canada to form a new country. French speaking, officially a French country, because that's what they speak, as opposed to the rest of the Canada, which is English speaking. And that process of breaking of, of breaking off formally from a country is called secession, and the noun is secede. Now, secede I'm using here in a very narrow sense to break off from a country. It doesn't have to be breaking off from a country, it, it succeed also means to formally withdraw, let's put it down here, it also means, this is one meaning, another meaning is to formally withdraw membership from an organization or association or an alliance. For example, when Charles de Gaulle came to power in France, he decided to secede from NATO, I believe. I'm not sure. I do not think, I do not believe, maybe it is now. There was some organization, I believe it was NATO, that uh, Charles de Gaulle decided to break off from. I, I, maybe, maybe France is part of NATO now again, I'm not sure. It must be because they're doing something in... Uh, they're, they're going around dropping bombs on Libya, so I'm sure, I'm sure uh, France is part of NATO one more time. But there was some organization that France used to belong to and they decided to secede. I don't know why I say these things when I do not know my facts. 
But that's what it means. It doesn't, it doesn't simply mean to break off from a country. It could also mean to formally withdraw membership from an organization or from an association or from an alliance. So if you're a member of a certain alliance or certain organization and you want to withdraw your membership, you want to break off from it, that process is also called secession. They're all related, secede and seed. don't confuse the two. Here you're giving up a possession of something. Here uh, it means you break off your membership or your alliance with, from an organization or a country. <coughs> and the other two words we learned were capitulate, which means to give in, to surrender, as opposed to recapitulate, which means to summarize. I hope it wasn't too confusing. I hope you found it helpful. I will see you again tomorrow on day number 30, 33. In the meantime, if you wish to get hold of me uh, for personal private tutoring, I provide private tutoring for GRE, GMAT, SAT and TOEFL. I tutor over the internet via Skype. I also do uh, tutoring over the telephone and of course face-to-face -face tutoring in Connecticut and New York area. If there is anything at all that I can do to help you prepare for any of these exams, you go to my website, any of these websites, and send me an email. Or you can go to kishwaniprep.com and send me an email from there. Alright? Thanks.